header, but now he has the opportunity to fully erase the memory of that if he can turn in a match-winning performance in the shootout. Nerve-wracking moments for the players, but for the managers too, because all they can do is pick the takers, cross their fingers and pray. Yeah, his reaction there from Joe Dunn's strike. Wow, Steve Wignall, there's a lot more of that coming, Steve Wignall. I think he'll be saying to his players now, hey guys, it's all over, you've performed well, I'm proud of you, it doesn't matter which way the penalties goes now. No one likes to win or lose in penalties, and players shaking hands out there. This means there's been nothing nasty in the game. Mervyn Day, he's delighted with the old promotion, and this would be the icing on the cake if he's psyched and just win these penalties. I Go think, on, boss, give us a tip, he's saying. Give us a tip, how'd I stop one of these? I think morally they've uh, almost accepted that it was a share of the spoils as they've been uh, shaking hands in very good-natured and sporting fashion. But, of course, the vivid image of Gareth Southgate's face after he missed that crucial penalty at Euro 96 will be etched on the minds of all those who will be taking the spot kicks here. And that's the goal that they've got to hit if they're to keep their hopes of being Wembley winners alive. Well, that's, little, that's right in front of the Carlisle, the main bulk of the Carlisle fans. Look for a little bit of help from above. And I wish them all the best, Tony Kay. Colchester to take the first kick. And it's their captain taking on the responsibility that he carries with his armband. Richard Wilkins to try and get Colchester off to a flyer, and he does. I think the old legs were wobbling there, but that's a fine strike. Tony Cake, no chance. And now it's down to Carl Emerson. Lovely penalty. Wrong foot's the goalkeeper. Thank you very much. And that's 1 0. Nice penalty. And next, it's Carlisle's turn to try and equalise. Paul Conway, his father. Jimmy played here in an FA Cup final for Fulham against Mervyn Day and West Ham United 22 years ago. Conway with the kick. 1-1. One, one. Well, if the first one's a good penalty, this is a beauty. Emerson, absolutely no chance from Conway's penalty there. Just skimming inside of the post, right into the stanchion. This is a good quality penalty. Keeper going the wrong way again. And Emerson's had a smashing match, but no chance with that one. 100% record, two penalties taken, two penalties scored. Tony Adcock to try and put Colchester back in the lead. And he makes it, just... Well, he didn't even touch the ball, did he? The ball was spotted. And goodness me, that had to be just inside the post. Because Keg got very, very close to this one. Adcock with the right foot. Staring at the ball, knows where it's going, keeps it low. Oh, Tony Keg almost gets a fingertip. Sometimes the ones you miss are the ones that you'd least expect to miss. And uh, Owen Archdeacon is a regular penalty taker for Carlisle United. Here he goes. Oh, it's saved! Well, I wasn't going to say it, that was a kiss of the death there, Rob. And Carl Emerson chooses to go the right way. And I feel sorry for Archdeacon. It wasn't right in the corner. Carl Emerson went the right way. And he's delighted. Here he comes. Left peg. Decides to go to the keeper's right. The keeper goes to his right. And you have to say it's a poor penalty. Well, he is distraught. Mervyn Day offers him a consoling word. But David Green here has the opportunity to really put Colchester in the driving seat. Oh, firmly smacked in. Yeah, no nonsense from the big centre-half. He's been in the walls this afternoon, bad head collision, but his head was clear here. Not trying to be clever, whacks it, and I tell you what, that catches the underside of the bar. Right in the centre of the goal, Oof, get in. The miss won't be fatal in itself, but Walling can ill afford to miss this. A lot hinges on it. It's Dean Walling, and he scores. Yeah, he's a good two. match, this fella. The more I see him, the more I quite like him. And that was a good penalty. Very casual. Buck finds the back of the net, and this time Emerson 
no chance. Right foot from Walling, right in the corner, good penalty. And he had to score it wrong. Carlisle begging for a miss from a Colchester player. And Carl Duguid, young player, considered a great prospect at the age of 19, former youth team captain. To try and put them ahead. Oh, it's turned on to the post! That is a great save. I thought it was a big responsibility in someone's so young shoulders. And he's gutted as well. He shouldn't be. That's a great save. And that is, that's the heartbreak of penalties. What a shame. But not if you're a Carlisle United support. A great save from Tony Kay. And he's delighted for Carl Duguid having to be consoled as Warren Aspinall draws Carlisle United level. It's 3 all in the shootout. Yeah, he wasn't going to miss. I thought he's had a smashing match, this fella. Sending Carl Emerson the wrong way. Right foot, finds the right corner. Right-hand side of the keeper. Oh, wow. Well, well Carl Duguid is only a young player, and he's bearing a heavy responsibility at the moment, and he's just completely inconsolable. And that really is the cruel streak of these penalty shootouts, because they pick out villains and heroes. That's horrible for someone so young as well. Big fella, a lot of responsibility on Corley's shoulders now. A heavy burden then for Corley to try and put Colchester back in the lead. And it's saved! And Carlisle only need to score their final penalty now to win the shootout. Well, Peter Corley deciding to go the other side. It's not a bad strike, but the goalkeeper, Tony Kaye, guesses the right way. And a big centre-half, heading for the corner, great save from Kaye. Well, maybe that's the way to take it if you miss him. A little smile. Well, Colchester's captain took the first, Carlisle's captain could well take the last and deciding kick. It's Hayward, and Carlisle have won it! They've won the shootout, and Steve Hayward, who played when they were defeated here two years ago, has erased the memory of the defeat by Birmingham, and isn't he just delighted? Well, people say about this final, there's not a lot at stake. Don't believe it with the reaction to that winning penalty. Hayward, the captain, he is absolutely delighted. It's a cruel game. Carlisle goes ecstatic as Colchester, well... Played the part superbly well, and they're dejected. And that's the horror of penalty kicks in a final. Hayward is the match-winning hero, congratulated by his teammates. That'll make it all the sweeter when he goes up to collect the trophy from Glenn Hoddle. It sparked off tremendous celebrations, but Mervyn Day, typically of the man, has been offering consoling words to Colchester. He knows that it's a cruel way to lose, but Hayward absolutely elated. Well, a lot of pressure here, and the goalkeeper nearly gets there. Emerson goes the right way, and for a minute I thought he was getting it. Look at Mervyn Day in the left. Absolutely, a bit of delayed reaction there from Merv, but the ball finds its way in the bottom corner. But look at this fella. Off comes the shot. Carlisle fans are right behind the goal. And he is ecstatic, absolutely superb, what a feeling.